Hi, I'm Stephanie Mosca. We're here in Miami, Florida at IT Expo Miami 2013. And I'm joined today by Ken Hosack, VP of Business Development for CreatorPoint. Ken, thanks for joining us on the show today. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. So I think everybody's pretty familiar with the, the hardware and, and cloud services that you guys provide, but why don't we just talk a little bit about, you know, your customer base and what you provide for them? Sure, absolutely. So, you know, CreatorPoint provides 3G, 4G network solutions that are cloud-enabled to distributed enterprise. And we connect these distributed enterprise using the wireless internet from uh, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, Clearwire, and, uh, and they use that to, as, a, as a network connection. So the two primary ways uh, companies are using this is either a primary connection, such as for a kiosk or a pop-up retail store, or as a failover connection for business continuity. So now that you set the stage, why don't you give us a couple of examples in terms of how consumers and vendors can use this in you know, real life experiences? Sure. Uh, after Hurricane Katrina, one of the nation's largest insurance companies purchased 20,000 of our enterprise bridges uh, because they wanted to basically provide a redundant internet connection to their branch offices. And in some of these natural disasters, the flooding comes in, yeah. takes out the wired networks. And that's when the customers need them the most, you know, to process claims, get back on their feet. So being able to use the wireless internet uh, lets them use those op offices, access all their cloud-based applications, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the wireless companies have their mobile cell towers that they drive in on trucks, so they're usually the first networks to come back up. Sure. Any other examples that you can share with us? Uh, yeah, on the, uh, uh, for M2M, &M, and at this IT Expo conference, there's a sub-conference called the M2M, which is machine to machine, sure. uh, and that's connecting kiosks, digital signage, uh, video surveillance, things like that. Uh, one of the largest DVD customer uh, uh, kiosks that you see out there uses us to provide their primary internet connection so that when you go up and process a credit card, uh, they can check that in real time and uh, you know before they dispense the movie. Yeah, you mentioned M2M &M and cloud services, both of which are a pretty big part of IT Expo this week in Miami. So, why can you tell us a little about that about? Excuse me, can you tell us a little bit about the trends that you're seeing happening in the industry and kind of how you're able to capitalize on them with your solutions? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're, we're seeing a trend for uh, purpose-built pop-up networks or separate networks. So there's so much uh, in the news these days about credit card breaches, theft, PCI compliance, that corporate IT, especially in retail stores, are very reluctant to add things to the network. So we've seen uh, one of the largest home improvement companies decided that they wanted to segregate uh, or separate the employee traffic off of the point of sale device traffic. And so they create a separate network using our technology and our cloud-based solution to tie it all together right. uh, just so that they don't have to worry about uh, those two networks mix mixing. One of the large bookstores, for example, sells tablets that are Wi-Fi enabled. They wanted customers to be able to use the tablets in the store without accessing the uh, network. So they yeah. create a pop-up network so you can use it. Uh, and we're seeing quite a bit of that. Yeah, and with, with the increase of you know, data usage, you guys obviously have your work cut out for you. You brought uh, a device with you today. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? So this is one of our uh, three products. This is our M2M &M router, again, for the conference. And uh, I always bring this because it fits in my pocket as opposed to the enterprise solutions right. that we have. Uh, but this has built-in 3G, 4G, so the, these antennas connect to Verizon or AT&T, again, you know, one of the wireless carriers, and then uh, you have the Wi-Fi and the LAN so that, uh, uh, that you can use this anywhere to create a you know, uh, uh, on-the-spot network connection or sure. for kiosk or digital signage. So. Well, it looks pretty self-explanatory and easy to use. Uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> it is pretty basic, yeah. and you know, a lot of, a lot of our customers, you have a choice of how you implement 3G, 4G connectivity. I mean, you can put, use a chipset, you can use a module, you can use a router. The nice thing about the router is it's, we've already done all the work to certify it with the carriers and get it working. And there's a lot of work that comp companies would have to do if you're using a chipset or a module to go do that certification. We do all that heavy lifting for them. Right. So just in terms of things to come, anything in development that you can talk about that we can look forward to from CradlePoint? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, what our big emphasis right now is on the, uh, the cloud management and application platform. Mm -hmm. uh, we find that our target customer distributed enterprise, so retail, stores, quick serve restaurants, uh, branch offices, there's really, they have a lot in common. They have zero or very few IT resources on site. Right. 
they're struggling with, I want to provide customer Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm processing credit cards, so I need the solution to be PCI compliant. And uh, you know, our development team is really cranking along on enabling applications that can help uh, these distributed enterprises manage their networks easily, make sure that they're compliant, and, uh, and, and get some value out of the, the more than just network connectivity. Sure. Well, with the, I mean the demand for cloud services, obviously you guys are have a lot of opportunity in the market today. Oh, we believe that. We believe it. We're we're happy about it. Thanks so much for joining us today, Ken. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it.